Welcome to the Bullet Dodge Records Radio Show. Hi everyone, Gareth Whitehead here and welcome to another Bullet Dodge Records Radio Show. As always this week we've got a fuel packed show for you. On tonight's show we've got an interview with the three Saundersons, that being legendary techno producer and DJ Kevin Saunderson and his two sons, Damari and Dante. We've also got a mix from Damari Saunderson and some new tracks for you to check out. Kicking off tonight's show we have a track called Next Time by Lee M. Kelso and this is the LMK's Take 2 mix and this is good out on Love Not Money.
And that track there was called Next Time. That was the LMK's Take Two Mix. And the original artist is Lee M. Kelso, and that's going out on Love Not Money. You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show. Next, we have a track called Climate Control. The artist is Carlo Gambino, and this is going out on Midnight Social.
And that track there was called Climate Control by Carlo Gambino, and that's coming out on Midnight Social. You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show. For more information on the show and the label, check out our website at www.bulletdodgerecords.com. Next, we have a track by Andy Slate. It's going out on his label, Eight Miles High. This track's called Challenger. Check it out. Thank you. 
and that track there was called Challenger by Andy Slate and that's going out on 8 Miles High You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show Next we have a remix by James Barnsley He's remixed the track called Sabor and that's by Javier Carballo and this is going out on Arnold Texas Safari Numeric imprint.
Following that track there was James Barnsley's remix of Javier Caballo's Saboa, and that's going out on Safari Numeric. You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show. Next track is a track called Patron, and this is by the very talented DJ3000. This track's off his forthcoming album, which is going out his own label, Motet. Check this out, folks.
And that track there was called Patron, and that's by DJ3000, and that's going out on his own label, Motec. You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show. Keeping in the Detroit vein here, next we have... You are newcomer on the scene, M Gun remix a track called Homesick, and it's by artist Esteban Adam, and that's going out on EPM Music.
And that track there was M Gun's Crunch Time remix of Homesick. And the original artist was Esteban Adam, and that's going out on EPM Music. You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show. Next up, we have a collaboration between P Ben and DJ Antoine. This track's called Chill in the City, and this is going out on Groove Factory.
that track there was called Chill in the City. The artists were P Ben and DJ Antoine, and that's now on Groove Factory. You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show. For more information on the show and the label, check out our website at www.bulletdodgerecords.com. Next, we have a little Bullet Dodge preview for you. We've now got Mash here for you with a track called Use Me, which is coming out on Bullet Dodge this Monday coming. there was called Use Me by MASH and that's coming out on Bullet Dodge this Monday. You've been listening
listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show. Another Bullet Dodge sneak preview for you. Next is Alex Cool again. This track Rain and this is coming out on Bullet Dodge on the 24th of February.
Rain by Alec Cool, and that's coming out on Bullet Dodge later on this month. You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show. Okay, folks, this week I'm joined by Kevin Saunderson, uh, Damari Saunderson, and Dante Saunderson. Hi, guys, how are you all doing? How are you doing? Hey, man? what's going on? What's up? Good stuff. Well, I mean, the three of you need no introduction, um, as everything is going so well for you all at the moment. And especially last year was a superb year for you all. Can you each tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, this is Kevin, and, you know, uh, musically, the boys have come into the young right and started to make pave their way into the music industry. They've been traveling, they've been on the road, they've been seeing festivals, they've been in clubs. So, you know, they started creating, you know. Yeah, so the boys, you know, been out here, you know, got on the road, got the opportunity to travel different places to all around with me, different shows. I beat the, just get a good overview of what's going on, uh, some indoor festivals, clubs and uh, just be a part of the scene that they seem to fall in love with. Um, through time, that they've, they've released multiple records uh, and had a few releases out, and uh, Dante has stepped into the world of began last year by making his debut and uh, playing at Movement Festival and playing some back-to-backs with me. It, playing on his own in, you know, Detroit and some other places, and uh, DeMar is uh, trying to make it into that world now, but they both continue to work on music, and, uh, you know, it's uh, it's moving forward. Good stuff. Yeah, like, like you said, Les, a lot of his traveling, his networking, meeting all these new artists and people that uh, inspire me, which in turn... You know, that's a eventually my first production, followed by a lot of others, a few others, you know, ongoing up until now, you know. I uh, had my debut at, at Movement Festival in Detroit, which was no fun or no experience. And great, great time. And uh, from there, just been uh, doing my thing and continuing. It's continuing tough. To- <laughs> And, uh, and like they both said, this is this is only a beginning uh, for me and Dante. As you know, we still have much to learn, and uh, I'm sure we'll get there eventually. But right now, we're just taking baby steps. Um, this year, I'm, I'm more going to be focused on going out and trying to uh, get. Um, and that's about it. Good stuff. And I mean, I mean, um, talking to both the boys, Damari and Dantes, I mean, what do you plan production-wise for your, your year ahead? Um, what can we look out for? I know, Dantes, you've just had the, the release out on Soma, um, which looks to be yeah. doing well. So I've I- got, yeah, I'm working with a, a few a few labels um, that I'm, I'm really kind of releasing more and more often on and doing remixes for. Which would be, you know, so I had my release with Soma uh, about a couple months ago. Uh, did pretty good. Uh, the style of the release. Uh, also working with an Italian label uh, for the records, as well as KMS records, obviously. So, you know, I'm steadily pushing out releases uh, in new material. You know, in my my style, I work from deep house to house, tech house to techno, so different outlets and um. Yeah, I'm pushing and pushing mainly through those three labels as of now. Uh, right now, I actually only have a, a few releases planned for this year so far. Um, like I said, I'll be focusing more on uh, the DJing aspect of things this year, and uh, the productions will keep coming. You know, I, I started off first steps. I've done some stuff for obviously Canvas and uh, working on more. Um, and you know that's about it for me right now. Okay. I'm working on some stuff as well with uh with my pops. I'm sure uh we got a couple projects in the works, some remakes this too. Uh also Inner City I've worked with you know, the whole Inner City crew, Paris has done some vocals with me. This is all this will all be new two thousand fourteen exclusive stuff, so 
So I look out for it. Good, good. And uh, 2013, um, as you mentioned, Kevin, saw you guys can DJ all together in some gigs. Do you plan to continue this concept in 2014? Uh, the tag team. Yeah, yeah, we're going to definitely explore more into that. Definitely have a show coming up soon in Denver. I'm tag team with uh, Dantes, and I'm sure Demario at some point will we'll be getting a part of that too. You might even see them two tag teaming. So it, it, it's just a progression. It's fun for me because it's a little different. And, uh, uh, you know, we can vibe off each other. I can teach them some things, and they can uh, keep, keep developing at the same time and make the party rock. More importantly, good stuff. And uh, KMS, I mean, at the moment is firing in all cylinders. Um, Kevin, how do you keep on top of all that with your your busy schedule at the moment? Yeah, it's not easy. I tell you, I'm trying to make music. I'm trying to tour, but you know, I got got some good people behind me. I got Dantes. He's he's in the his ears right in there all the time. Every now and then, Demario pop up and say, "Hey, this is the hot track. What you think? You want to sign us?" I, Ian uh, Donovan became a part of, of the Cameras family. Uh, you know, we got a label manager, Phil Augusta, who's an artist from Detroit, just a diehard. So, you know, we, we, we you know, we, our, our model is, you know, we try to put out good music and give new artists, uh, young artists, and just good music uh, an opportunity to come out on the label. Uh, and, you know, and some of them we try to develop more and do multiple pieces and some, you know, uh, it, it could be a one-off, but, you know, it's a good record, it's a good experience. I got thousands of people sending demos and wanting to be on a, a, a part of history, a part of a, a label who's been around since the beginning that helped set the foundation of, of the music at the beginning and, and and the labels who became afterwards were inspired to do the same. So, you know, it's it's you know, it's part of my legacy. Yeah, did. good, good. And and what can we spe- expect um, from KMS later on this year? Oh man, I'm telling you, I'll let you speak on that. We got we got releases coming. I sit on like every week. I can't even keep up myself. Yeah, with you. we, 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 you're just gonna have to look out. You got, <laughs> we got all different continents from all different ages. Uh, all different genres, you know, all different underground genres. It's just good music, and you know, we got stuff coming from France, Belgium, Germany. We got Detroit, of course, uh, uh, the UK, uh, and New Inner City. You know, uh, so you know, it's it's you know, it's nice. You know, when you have to find room to put a record out because you got so many coming out. But at the same time, we think it's good music, and the world needs to know good music, and you know, that's what we feel. Our, our influence it influences us, and we influence them. You know, uh, it's like a cycle uh, that that of infinity that that won't stop. Really, it, it shouldn't stop because even though I'm getting older, my kids are are younger, and there's younger generations to follow, and there's younger generations that's part of their generations, and there's generations that's in between those generations. And you know, we all feed off each other, and the music grows because technology grows. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, I mean, talking about just uh, what you're talking about there, Kevin, is, is one of the industry's pioneers. I mean, you've seen it all. How do you feel about the scene at the moment? Do you think it's in a good, healthy place? I think it is because, you know, I've seen some moments where the music was overall was very hard to play good music and people understand what good music was and people could get away with playing really shitty music, you know, at least in my opinion, and people would, would pretend to have a good time or taking drugs to have a good time. I think me, people have become more aware because of uh, social media and, and all the internet access, uh, SoundCloud, and all the ways they can, you know, find out about the music. I think it helps the party scene. It doesn't necessarily help the sales of records, not at this point, because people tend to want to listen. And, you know, when I even when I put up a, a stuff on my SoundCloud, everybody always they want to download it, which tells me they don't have any intention of buying it. Like, I don't give out music of other artists, but I will play it so people can hear it, so they can, you know, hopefully be attached to the artists and go find them. But in general, there's a mix of, of music. Uh, we have this in America where the new, new kids, the young kids, you know, they call it EDM. Uh, it's always been electronic music anyway that it has been, it's come from. But techno was born out of Detroit, house was born out of Chicago. 
now it's branched off, you know, into like 15 different genres. Obviously, it developed over the years from trance to progressive house to minimal. Uh, and so you got many different variations. But the good thing is like everybody, you know, once you come into it, whether you come into it from uh, a dubstep or whatever, it, somehow you find your way back to the underground and you get to experience it. So what happens then people are influenced differently and they kind of, you know, they get it. They go to BPM Festival and see, like, these DJs playing good music and a great vibe and this, like, that's a little different than the music I've been hearing and I kind of dig that. So, you know, uh, I, I think it's a good thing, especially for America, you know. It's not, it's still very commercialized, but at the same time, it opens up other doors in, 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 in the underground for for the whole music scene to keep keep healthy, you know, no matter what, you always gonna have a commercial somehow mixed in with anything that's popular that that might become more popular or watered down and not true music from the heart, maybe music from my lady, but that's with any music, so you know, that's that's where it stands to me. Stuff. And um, again, we touched on this earlier. Um, you, you know, you're a part of movement. Can can we expect another full pipe movement show from you guys this year? Say it again. Can we expect uh, another full packed show at Movement from you guys this year? The Movement Festival. Yeah, yeah. You, you. you there's going to be some movement activity. I, I haven't. We, we're still talking about some some planning, some things we're doing with Movement this year. It hasn't been announced yet, but we're 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 in the present time of uh, making something happen where, where there's going to be some sound systems at the at Movement. Well, just lastly, um, can you tell our listeners where they can find out a little bit more about what you guys are up to? Um, like URLs, what's the best URL web links for them to, to check out? Uh, it's Dante's, and I'm uh, you know I'm barely social media active, so all you got to do: Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, and Cloud. All you got to do is type in my name: D A N T I E Z. Sanderson, S A U N D E R S O N. You can find me on any one of those social media websites. Yeah. And, and you know, for me, Kevin, just my name, Kevin uh, Sanderson.com, it'll take you to my website. Uh, obviously, I'm out there on Facebook and everywhere. Same as Dantes. And musically, you know, I'm working on some inner city stuff, I'm working on a Kevin Sanderson record, working on a track with Dantes. I've done a Scoopflix remix that. Uh, that'll be coming out uh, 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 soon, you know. Uh, so, you know, I'm working on a couple other remixes, not too many remixes, because that's not my thing no more. But uh, you know, I've been and I work on some stuff. So. Okay, that's good. And Demani, yeah, um, actually, it's it's the same with me. Um, all my, you can find me on Twitter, uh, SoundCloud, my SoundCloud, just SoundCloud.com slash Demari Saunderson, Twitter. Uh, DM Saunderson um, same thing with Facebook okay that's good well thanks very much for coming in and chatting to us guys it's been a pleasure I know it took a while but hey you know. <laughs> alright right, Gary thanks for having us glad, glad to be on You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show that was Kevin Damari and Dante Saunderson chatting to us here so Carrying on in the KMS vein, I'm going to preview a couple of tracks for you from the label. This first track is a collaboration between Drum Complex and Red Square. The track's called Continuous Flow, and this is a Heron remix. As I say, this is going out on KMS Records.
Dodge Records radio show. That track there was a track called Continuous Flow. It was Heron's remix, and the original artist is Drum Complex and Red Square, and that's going out on KMS Records. You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show. Another KMS one for you, folks. Uh, this time it's a track called Stuck in My Mind. This is a dub mix of that, and the original artist is Dante Saunderson and John Norman.
Stuck in my mind, and that was by Dante Saunderson and John Norman, and that's going out on KMA. You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show. For more information on the show and the label, check out our website at www.bulletdodgerecords.com. I'm going to leave you for the next 40 minutes or so in a very capable hands of Damari Saunderson. He's provided us with a stellar mix this week. Check this out, folks.
And that was Damari Saunderson in the mix here. That's us coming to the end of this week's show, folks. We'll be back next week for another show. If you want any more information on the label or on our show, so the track listings and, and links to the artists that we've chatted about, go to our website, which is www.bulletdodgerecords.com. See the radio section, and if you click on that link, it will provide all the information you need about the show. Speak soon, folks. You've been listening to the Bullet Dodge Records radio show. For more information on the show and the label, check out our website at www.bulletdodgerecords.com.